When the All Blacks play here, there's bound to be blood, sweat and tears, even before kickoff. The pre-match haka, Kamate, fires up the team and lays down a challenge. It's our most famous haka, written by the great chief Te Rau Paraha. And in Te Papa, one well-known artist has given it some extra colour. The name of this painting is Fiti Te Rā, and it really references a haka by Te Rau Paraha. Fiti Te Rā means the sun shines, and it really refers to the elation that Te Rau Paraha felt after escaping sort of near death. The haka's often, know, you know, it goes kamati, kamati, kaura, kaura. It is death, it is death, it is life, it is life. Fiti te you know, and that's really what that haka was about and what this painting is named after. The artist is Paramatchet. What's his background? This is a very early piece of his work. He was one of the earliest contemporary Māori artists and he's often credited alongside people like Ralph Hortery, uh, Selwyn Muru, Muru Walters, for being the founders of a contemporary Māori practice at all, where there was a break between, you know, the more traditional arts, carving, weaving, to uh, a sort of a modernist aesthetic. From here, he moved away from painting, actually, and went into installation, sculpture, uh, assemblage works. Not far from the museum is one of Matchett's biggest works, on the City to Sea Bridge. It also tells old Māori stories through modern eyes, these ones about sea, navigation and arrival. And if you listen... Oh, come on, come on, come on. 